everyone, welcome to Alchemy Stars. So today, guys, play strategy. I'm gonna explain everything to you guys, everything that you need to know on how to use him, how to maximize him, and uh, how he's really going to be extreme, extremely beneficial in terms of damage, but extremely uh negative as well on the other side in terms of the punishment that he will give you okay um to start off we're gonna be um talking about the sanity system now that i mentioned it so um three aurorians have this so you have lenore you have may now you have uh giles here so the sanity system is kind of a point system so max sanity is 100 when sanity is zero, one percent of the team HP will be substituted for one sanity point. So you'll be um, losing HP in the process a bit. Calm state is at one hundred ninety-nine to eighty. Ally units receive one stack of poison at the start of each round. Not bad, right? So definitely, this is not a drawback at this point. Team defense drops to ten percent. What do I get out of this? You ask yourself. You're gonna you're gonna receive a lot of buffs later when your sanity system goes down, especially when you're using Giles here. So at 79 to 50, all units are subject to the above. So this is not really a drawback. This is actually a plus for you because they also get poisoned. They also their defense drops by 10%. So goes down to 90. So definitely also a a plus at this point so please bear with me this is at 70 to 50 so below 50 th this is where it goes downhill so 49 to 20 a mirage appears randomly at the start of each round what is a mirage word and what are you talking about mirage if you look at it in actual uh, gameplay looks like a cactus but it attacks you bit by bit it's a bit annoying and they and they up and they appear every round so you better you know clean them up so that they won't be too pesky. Okay, 19 to 1 ally units gain 4 more stacks of poison at the start of each round. Healing effects reduced to 20. This is where this is where it gets a little bit or really, really tough. So um try to manage your sanity. Uh with Giles, you need to be able to uh, make sure that when you use him when you burst out his active skill which lowers down his sanity use it in two phases use it from 100 probably up to a max um, a minimum of 50 then from 50 you have to stop then you burst it again going down to zero because um if you stay long especially in 19 to 1 it's, it's really going to hurt. And if even if you have a healer with you, even if Novio is with you, um, this is still going to hurt. And at zero, insane state, all Aurorian defense is reduced to 10, from 90 to 10. So you're going to be paper thin by this time. So that is their sanity system. And let's go through his skills. So active skill, Dawn of Isaac. So take note, your cooldown is zero. So you can spam this every turn. But again, please manage your usage of the sanity system because every time you use this, this is a minus 15 on sanity. Although there's going to be a plus, but again, burst it down. Know when to time this. Basically, that is what I'm saying. I'm saying I'm not to use it or to use it, but know when to time this. Dealing 333% 3, 3, 3 damage to enemies in the four adjacent tiles in a cross shape across a chosen tile so four targets in a four okay so deals two damage if the caster style caster style is selected so if you select where giles is standing on then damage is times two the, the four other areas deal get damage not on the tile that uh, giles is in after an active skill kills a target it can be used again for two times final damage at the cost of two sanity points so um you can do this on your first turn kill one then kill one using active skill use it again and kill another one but that's only up to there so more or less you will be up to i think minus 45 sanity by the time if i'm 
if I'm really correct about the math here. So um, from there, that's already minus 45. So from there, you already stop. <laughs> then you time the next burst in terms of um, are, is your health, is your HP good? It's really management of the sanity system. You cannot just really burst it out. Um, all at once. Okay, so that is it. So kill small minions, kill one, and use active skill again. Lower sanity, quicker. That is the gist of your active skill. Moving on to your chain combo, it's devouring lava. So you have four, eight, and eleven. Deals one twenty, uh, one hundred, one twenty, one forty. Damage to the enemy with the lowest HP percentage two times. So this. It, this targets the lowest HP within the whole map. So wherever that creature is, the, the chain combo will hit that creature. When sanity is below 60 and 25, it deals additional damage 1 times 1 for 60 and times 2 for 25. Reduces the final damage each time by 15%. This is 10 to 15%. Okay, so chain combo increases when sanity decreases. It's, it's, it's like a math assignment, guys. So please bear with me. Okay, so next is your uh, equipment skill. Fervent Burst. Activated after killing an enemy this round. Whenever Giles deals damage, his attack is enhanced according to the current sanity point. The lower the sanity point, the greater the damage up to 20%. Because I'm already at um, level 4. So I'm still here, so that's 20. This is going to be max at 40%. Take note, 40% at level 10. So equipment skill attack is enhanced. Basically, damage increases when sanity is also lower. At breakthrough 3, if you look at breakthrough 3, where I'm, I'm still talking about the equipment. You're going to have an enhancement here and kill um, the killing of any Mirage additionally increases bonus by 10. So it's, it, it increases up to 50%. So after the, the max of your equipment to 40, then plus the 10%, there you go. That's the 50. Okay, next also is your max breakthrough while we're here in the breakthrough already. So when uh, chain combo enhancement, uh, when sanity reaches zero, trigger bonus damage three times. Three times. And Giles' damage is, is really fantastic. With this one, he's going to be bonkers, guys. Bonkers, I tell you. He is going to be... Um, I don't care if uh, he goes insane. He's going to be bonkers. <laughs> he's already insane. He's bonkers. What I mean is the damage. So, again, uh, very beneficial if you eventually uh, escalate Giles into max breakthrough. Okay, so what's best for this guy? What's best for him? He is best in scattered mobs wherein you can't reach because they are scattered all around. Um, he is also best in clutter in in clumped up or clustered mobs because of his active skill, wherein you're in the middle, then four on the side can be hit times two damage. So. Um, he really re has a lot of utility when you look at it. Also, in terms of bosses, um, single tile, not that much. Um, for four tile bosses, he is going to be good already because if you use the active skill there, two tiles will hit in the four tiles of that boss. And also, I just want to go back to the active skill. Spam your active skill as long as you have a healer and as long as you can really decide whether you're going to take the enemy out. Manage your sanity up to 50. Don't go below 50. Then burst after 50. Even if you have a, a healer at 19 and 11, this is going to be hard to come back from. Uh, ideally, when you are at uh, below 50, uh, sanity, HP should be 100 or 75. So a healer really counts um, in this way. So ideal healer for him. Novio, ideal team. Obviously, he's going to be good with fire. He's also going to be good, uh, complementary with um, 
with Forest because Lenore is there and May is there. So that's another, you know, that's another story in terms of uh, how we're going to put them together. So, by the way, that's a future video. So two of them in the team, Lenore and Guile. So let's move on to a showcase of um, how he can be used. And um, let's see how damage he can deal at level 52. Okay, so we are going to be going to an old stage that I am usually it's it's it, it, it's at banquet's end, the sorrow, the end stage. This is a um good comparison on um gonna be comparing here uh Sinsa and Giles in terms of damage. Um gonna be comparing active skill and combo. So at the despite him being at 52 level since is maxed with is maxed already not not mbt maxed in in uh what do you call this and i forgot um where he's maxed at let's just go back to since so, so you do you know how strong already the since uh, i have here so since uh oh i forgot he is maxed affinity already so he his equipment is also maxed um, he just lacks breakthrough. So he is at breakthrough 3 at this point. So that is where my Sinsa is. Uh, at least you have a benchmark on how he is going to fare against, um, against uh, what do you call this, against Giles if we compare him. So let's uh, move on to the comparison and let's see these guys duke it out okay so we are here boss has arrived and uh, this is just a comparison i'm not going to finish um this up i'm just going to be comparing both of their damage and see what the potential is for uh, this guy giles okay so just going to be applying a couple of uh, tiles here so that we can just compare Okay, so so I'm gonna use Sensa later up close in terms of um is uh what do you call this is uh, active skill so that we get we get uh, max damage from him. Let's just uh, compare the damage here in terms of. Uh, See, see um, the combo damage later and how or how different this is actually in kind of slow mo already. The pieces of uh, my laptop is uh, kind of slowing. I just don't know why. So it's in slow mo mode. <laughs> So since uh, is going to be um, so critical thirteen eight thousand is the regular damage. So next uh, the last one is as you can see here six couple of so he has six so since is eight not the critical one at thirteen so since uh, has eight and uh, he has six six thousand six five something so that is it for um their combo once um once you compare sinza's uh, active skill here i think he's gonna be dealing a lot because this is up close it's at uh, eight thousand and twelve so for him this is two tiles so two tiles for four so that's seven not bad actually not bad he, um he is still at sanity 65 and he is a long way to go in terms of what we can do for his kit. So that is it, guys. I'm just going to exit this one and do my final thoughts for this guy. Okay, so final thoughts for uh, Giles. Best sniper at this point. As long as you tinker with this equipment up to... This has to be up to level 10. 
even if at the uh, one copy in at the uh, breakthrough two, he is already very good. So this one is going to be just um, your graveyard cherry on top. But the, the obvious thing that you should aim for is this one. This will really, you know, um, make him a butcher um, enemies. Butcher. He's going to butcher your enemies, basically. So you have to, you know, eventually get copies of him. So at equipment max and at affinity max, it's going to be good. It's going to be real good. So he's going to be um, excellent. If you have no view with your team, although without a healer, you can still use him, but he's going to be a lot. It's going to be for clearing of mobs, not really for bosses. For bosses, you definitely will need a healer, especially if the boss has um, it has damage on tiles that when you cross on them, you, you get damage or has damage over time or is poison as well. So definitely... He is top sniper at this point. If you st still have a chance, um, please do get him. Uh, if you're choosing between him and Lenore, definitely get him. Um, Fire Niri needs a good sniper and uh, he's going to be it. For Lenore, she's going to be competing with a lot with Yao and with who's the other one? Arya in terms of the secondary detonator spot. So that is it. That is my, you know, my um, thoughts on this guy, Giles. So anyway, guys, if you're still here, please do consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.